What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Pack Only Road to Glory. In today's episode we're going to play our final games in foot jams from last weekend league. But I left it this late for a reason, it's not a problem. Um, and that's simply because as you can probably tell by the title and as you'll see throughout the video, uh, we made it to gold 3 this week. So I didn't need to qualify again this week, which meant I didn't need to play the knockout excuse me, the knockout tournaments in the week, uh, which in turn meant I didn't need to do an extra video. So what you're going to see today is my final games leading up to the 18 wins. I've cut out the losses just in, in order to try and make this video a little bit more timely. Uh, I think it's going to be about 31 or 32 minutes anyway. If I had the losses in there as well, it probably would have been about 38 minutes. Um, so I thought, let me just show the wins. And I think going forwards, I might just show the wins anyway. What do you reckon to that? Let me know. Um, and today we're going to have the live rewards as well. After about 17 minutes in, we go into the rewards and building a squad for next weekend or this current weekend league, the Bundesliga, Liga Santander. Before we get into this, guys, two things. First off, if you want any PSN or MSP codes, then uh, use the link for G2A in the description below. And of course, use Nepo at checkout for some cash back on your order. And secondly, you guys just support the life out of this series. And I can't thank you enough, man. Like, honestly, the, the, every time you hit a thumbs up button on it, just makes me happy inside. So I appreciate the support you guys continue to give. Um, so why did I end up going for gold? I, I got to silver two on stream, which we ended in the last episode. That was 11 wins. And um, I, was I was always going to go for silver one. Because in silver one, you get the jumbo premium gold players pack, which is 24 players, six rares. And uh, I thought, you know what? I could use 24 players in this club for squad builders for making sure that we have depth in our squads when we need to do very specific, um, you know, in, uh, very specific situations like the BPL weekend and like the La Liga Bundesliga weekend. Um, but also I thought Silver One, it would have been the best that we had got to. So I thought, why not, you know, go up a, a little bit at a time. Um, but once I got to Silver One, I think I was 14 and three as my record. Which is mental. I did never expect to get that on this account. I, you know, I genuinely thought, like, when, when I came into this, I started it thinking to myself, let me set myself a, a realistic target of an unrealistic goal. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I thought to myself, let me go for, say, silver two, 11 wins, because I'll probably take 25 or 30 games to get there, because I didn't think I'd be able to win so many games without losing. Uh, I, I, I like, you know, in my mind, I thought to myself, I'll be able to fit in on average around 20 games a weekend. And I could push that up to 30 games if I'm in a position where it's like, holy crap, I'm like one or two wins away from the next big rank. I'll push it on. Uh, I didn't expect to sit there and be 11 wins and three losses and then 14 wins and three losses. And then I think we finished on 18 wins and five losses. That record is an elite record. If I would have played the whole 40 games and continued that kind of uh, behavior or pattern with the wins and losses, I would have ended up getting around 31 or 32 wins, which would have been absolutely sensational. Obviously, time restraints permit that I couldn't get there this weekend league. Um, but who knows, man? If I can find a good groove, maybe I'll, maybe I'll figure out a way to try and get all 40 games in on this account. Um... So as I said, guys, you're seeing you're seeing the wins here. Obviously, this is last weekend's um, Foot Champs gameplay. Still, I want to go to a comment. Uh, where are we? Let's go. Um, right. So Castro Castro is fat is the guy's name. I swear blind as well. I didn't make that up. That's his actual name. Um, he says, uh, "Hello, Nep. Can you make a specific time when you will upload the videos?" And yeah, I really want to do that. Let let me explain to you a little bit about me, my channel, this series, and just what's happening in general because. Um, I want to I wanna just like kind of give you guys my perspective of where things are coming from. So first and foremost, uh, I obviously joined Fatal this year and I did not expect to get to the final. Um, you know, I had Bateson in the quarterfinals. I kind of half expected to uh, get kicked out of the quarterfinals because Bateson is just a phenomenal player. Um, and then I had DJ Mario in the semifinals. And obviously, if you would have seen the videos from a couple of days ago, I ended up, I don't know how, but I ended up beating DJ Mario in Fatal and... Uh, uh, I end up going through to the final, which I play against Marshall. So you guys are going to see the final fatal on my channel on Sunday and on Marshall's channel on Saturday. I didn't expect to get to the final fatal, final fatal. So that was three extra videos that went on my channel that could have been different videos that I didn't expect to have because I just didn't. I didn't rate myself as that much of a quality player to be able to do that. 
Um, I said to you guys last week, from Monday this week, which is obviously now five days later, um, I'd be setting a specific structure. And that's genuinely because I assumed I would have been out of fatal at that point. Uh, so I thought I'd be able to set a specific structure. So what I've got, guys, is I've got, I've got a channel that is very much... Um, it's very much like, it's super like, like super important for me as the kind of YouTuber that I am to have relevance within the community at the time that it is relevant. And what I mean by that is, that, by the way, what a goal this guy scored here. Uh, well, what a shot that was. He scored a rebound goal, but that was a lovely build up play. Uh, but what I mean by that guys is like when a new SBC comes out, my channel is based around the importance of getting it up quick, getting it up first and getting it up right and giving you guys the best information and best knowledge on how to do that SBC quicker, etc, etc. And there's, last year there was a lot of series based stuff that I did that was super successful because I was one of the very few YouTubers that did series based stuff. Um, this year, because of how successful series based stuff was last year, a lot of YouTubers now do series based stuff again. Um, you know, that instead of being like the four or five big YouTubers that were doing some kind of series, uh, you know, you had Spencer with Wheel of Foot Tune, a nice skills with Draft of Glory in his career mode. Uh, you have myself with my Draft of Glory and my Road to Glory. Um, there, there are a few others. I'm, I know Nick had his poor man's Road to Glory. Uh, but now there is like there is a lot of YouTubers doing a lot of different series again. And it's like the, the cycle of FIFA has gone full circle back from FIFA 11 and FIFA 12, where series used to be super impressive and super important to a channel, all the way back around to where they're important again. Um, so for me, I'm trying to find the right series that works on my channel. And... Draft of Glory last year was massive for my channel. This year, not so much so because, first of all, quite a few more people do Draft of Glory. But secondly, and most importantly, EA have changed nothing in Draft to the point where it's it's not stale because of me or because of another YouTuber did it. It's literally stale because EA haven't changed it. They've done nothing different to it, so it became boring. Um, you know, the only time it's fun is when there's brand new players. Uh, in packs that you can use in draft and potentially pack that's when it's fun for me but when there's just a regular team of the week with regular players it's not really that fun for me um so in terms of like setting up a specific time to upload i would like to have specific upload schedules right i would like to say okay monday wednesday and friday or mm, be because this is like foot champs based maybe saturday sunday maybe thursday friday saturday sunday we upload this series um, you know, that that could be quite good. So Thursday would be the rewards and the qualification. Friday, Saturday, Sunday would be the gameplay. Um, and then Monday would be maybe Draft of Glory or whatever. But then I also want to do the best team in FIFA because I, I enjoy doing the best team in FIFA. Um, and I, I think you guys really rate the squads and, and uh, uh, you know, super appreciative of the squad builder stuff. And then we have, so we have this, we have Draft of Glory, we have squad the the best team in FIFA and then I've also had Fatal for the last three weeks and then we have the squad builder challenge stuff that comes out all the brand new SBCs that come out and they come out like intermittently like literally there'll be some days where they're there like Monday there was a uh, marquee matchups and there'll probably be a marquee matchups today as well and then there was nothing Tuesday Wednesday Thursday just nothing at all there was the week you know the uh, Liga 1 guaranteed packs and the La Liga Santander guaranteed packs yada 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 but ultimately there was nothing so for me to not know when something's coming on a daily basis, it's hard for me to set a specific schedule at a reasonable time. With that being said, um, now that Fatal will be done this weekend, I'm hoping that I will be able to set a bit more structure. But what you got to understand, for like, so th this is where I was getting at with this. From my perspective as, as a YouTuber, I obviously want to put out content that is enjoyable to create that I feel is enjoyable to watch, but also that has an audience. You know, the, at the end of the day, this is a business for me. This is my livelihood. So it wouldn't benefit me to keep pumping out a series that isn't, isn't generating views and isn't doing well. Um, so I need to find not only the, the right time to upload videos, but also the right balance of those videos. You know, I, I know a lot of channels are successful these days when they have one key thing and they stick with it. So I could make this my key series, drop Draft of Glory, drop the best team in FIFA, do this every single day, and then do SBCs as bonus videos when they come about. But I don't really want to do that because I enjoy making the best team in FIFA and I enjoy the Draft of Glory when I do actually make it. Um, so again, what I've got to do is find, I've got to find a balance of what works and what doesn't. But right now, I've got so much content, you know, I've got 
uh, the, the Road to Foot Champs, which could be up to four videos a week because of how much gameplay there is. Then we've got Draft of Glory, which, you know, even if we did it twice a week, that's now six videos a week already in a seven-day schedule. The best team in FIFA, let's say we did that twice a week, so that's now eight videos a week in a seven-day schedule. Fatal was cause costing me two videos a week, which is now ten videos in a week in a seven-day schedule. And then any extra SBCs, let's say there were three throughout the week. So I've got 13 videos in a week on a seven day schedule. So that's two videos a day. I don't mind uploading two videos a day, but what happens is, is if I upload a video at say seven o'clock and it starts doing really good for views and then I upload again at nine o'clock, that video at seven o'clock just dies. Like literally just, it just dead. I don't know how it works like that or on YouTube or whatever, but it's like YouTube's like, oh, you've uploaded something else? Well, let's get this out of people's sub boxes. Let's stop pushing this video. Let's stop promoting this video because now this is your video. And what that does is it dilutes views but also it confuses viewers. You know, viewers will come on my channel and I hate it. I hate looking at it. I hate looking at my channel right now because I see one day this video, then this thumbnail, then that thumbnail. I like continuity. I like knowing what's coming and when it's coming. And I'm not offering that right now and it's quite frustrating. By the way, guys, this guy here, this is the dude that beat me on my Road to Glory account and I made him rage quit in this game. Really weird. But... um Basically, the uh, reason why I'm discussing this is because I want you to know where I'm coming from and, and that I'm not just like throwing up any video as I see fit here, there and everywhere. I'm genuinely just, as a YouTuber right now, I'm struggling to find my form with this channel. I'm struggling to, I'm struggling to know what to upload and when and what you want to see. You know, because this video, it gets a lot of love, it gets a lot of likes, but it only gets 150,000 views. And I say only in, like, in a sense of, the, I know that's a lot of views, but compared to other videos, that's actually quite a low-end video for me. Um, when I upload Draft of Glory, it typically gets 170, 180. And when I upload the best team in FIFA, over the course of a week or two, it'll get around 200,000 views. But, so, you know, that, like, logic would dictate people want to see squad builders a little bit more. But if I do more squad builders, more squad builders, more squad builders, people get bored of the squad builders, etc. So I basically, I'm struggling right now to figure out what to upload, when to upload it, and how to schedule it so that I please all of the fan bases. Because I know there's a set group of fans that love the draft that don't like this series. And there's a set group of fans that love this series that hate the draft or hate squad builders and don't like SBCs. I know I've got a huge user base that love the SBCs and don't care for anything else. You know, when I upload SBCs, pretty much no matter what they are, they'll get 200,000 or more views. Um, so, you know, there's a, big, uh, there's a big viewership base for SBCs that aren't here for this sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling, if, I, if I'm honest. I'm struggling to find what I want and what I want to show you. And I'm going to have to take a few days to, to like look back and, and see what's happening and, and kind of address it and change it to find something that fits and something that works. But obviously it's difficult to do that because normally, not like normally if in, in regular kind of YouTube years, if I was in a situation where I was like, okay, I'm not happy with how my channel is. I need to get things in order and, and sort things out. And what I'd do then is I'd make like two or three days worth of videos like, you know, I'd make a draft, a uh, squad builder and then another draft all on the same day and I'd upload them and I'd get them scheduled and that'd give me like two or three days to sit there and just figure out what I want to do. Uh, but now, because of Foot Champs, my Friday, Saturday and Sunday are just dead because I just, I just sit there and play FIFA all three days uh, whilst making videos. That leaves Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to get everything in order. But typically Monday and Tuesday, I'm editing, rendering, commenting, commentating the footage from the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so that leaves just Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday is a huge day because brand new team of the week and new cards and stuff. And Thursday is a huge day now because of rewards. I literally, I don't have time at times to sit there and think, okay, what do I need to do? So um, it's going to be a tricky one for me, dudes. But what I'd, what I'd like to say to you guys, I appreciate the patience. I appreciate you sitting through not knowing what video is coming and when. I am going to figure something out. I'm going to figure out a, a good routine. I'm going to figure out so, something that just works for everyone. And um, I don't know how I'm going to figure it out. But the, the one thing I thought of was perhaps going back to 3 a.m. uploads. If you guys remember back in FIFA 13, 14 and 15... I used to upload exclusively at 3 a.m. That would be when I uploaded my videos. That would be the time I uploaded every single day without fail. Uh, and I started changing that because I, I, th I felt like it wasn't the right thing at the time. As you can see in this game as well, this last game, I've got a red card there after going 1-0 uh, up. Well, before going 1-0 up. 
So I might go, uh, you know, start uploading my main series again at 3 a.m., do SBCs at 7 p.m. when they come out, and then if I need to put something in between, I can do. I'm unsure. I don't know. But uh, again, I appreciate you guys. And what I would like to ask you guys, if you're still here, if you're still on the video, what do you want? What do you love? And when do you want to see it? You know, what what of my channel, do, what, what brings you here? Do you, do you like this series the best? Do you like Draft the best? Do you like Squad Builders the best? Do you just like all of the content and you don't care when it's uploaded because you'll watch it on your way to school or on your way to work or on your way home from school or on your way home from work? Let me know a little bit about you, your watching habits, what you specifically like, what you specifically don't like. You know, I'm, I'm happy to be interested in, in what you guys don't like as well because I want to I wanna bring you guys the best, most entertaining content. And uh, I've got myself in, in a hole of giving you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that instead of all of this, you know, one amazing thing. So I feel like I, feel like I could definitely uh, refine my channel a little bit better and bring you guys a little bit uh, of a clearer, concise set of uh, content that you would enjoy. However, right now in today's video, guys, um, 18 wins on the board. I, as I say, I believe I was 18 and 5. Might have been 18 and 6. We'll see here at the end where I go into the um, into the squad section. So I had uh, 15 games remaining. So I was 18 and 7. I wasn't even 18 and 5. I was 18 and 7. There you go. Um, I must have taken a few extra losses than I thought dur during the uh, during the meantime. But still, 18 and 7 is a phenomenal record in my opinion. Um, I was very very happy to get to gold three. That's 25 games played altogether. I can play 25 games, guys. And if I can get 18 wins and seven losses every weekend, I'll get myself up to gold three every weekend. It will be very very important for the series, I think. That is the team on the bench and on the screen that we used throughout this um, this weekend league or last weekend league. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. Let's get into the packs. So, guys, as you would have seen in the footage leading up to these uh, live uh, live pack opening, I did indeed make it to gold three. Uh, somebody tweeted me and said, you know, like, when I got to silver one, it's four more wins for gold three which gives me guaranteed qualification. I would have to get that same four wins throughout the week to qualify again anyway. I might as well go do it, and I did go do it. And that Sacco car, guys, he sold. I don't understand why he's, like, gone expensive. He was still at 9K when I was checking. I showed you on the video last episode uh, that he was super expensive. I sold a whole bunch of items. We're up to 23,000, nearly 24,000 coins. We're about to get a nice amount of coins as well, guys. Um, that silver card there selling for 4k as well. Uh, a few things didn't sell. Uh, I'll relist these dudes and see if they sell. But yeah, we've got a nice amount of coins. I don't know if I, I want to start now maybe looking at some special packs. We've got some promo packs in store, the 45ks. I'll be able to open one, maybe two of those. Alternatively, I can open the 15ks and try and bolster our squad up a bit as well. Maybe get some luck as well. But we're going to start off by picking up our rewards. So we get a nice healthy amount of coins uh, two mega packs, a 50k pack, and 30,000 coins. This is going to be huge for this series. Right now, obviously, I need Bundesliga or La Liga players to help fl flesh out my squads that I've got because my two squads or the squad that I'm going to be using, it's not overly ideal. This Obviously, we're not going to be using this squad. In fact, I'd have to build a squad. We'll probably build a squad this episode. This might be a super long episode, actually. But we've got three big packs and 50,000 coins. Two mega packs and a 50k pack. This series is about to turn up. Even if we get nothing in these packs, I'm sure we're still going to be able to boost these squads. So we'll start with Mega Pack number one. No walkout. No big flare. Three rare gold cards at least, though. We're going to get ourselves a Bundesliga. Oh, Bojan. That's really nice. That's a very nice pull. Not crazy good or anything like that, but a very, very nice pull. We get Albio from the Calcio A. Uh, another Bundesliga goalkeeper there. Spat that. I've used this guy a lot and he's pretty decent. Four-star skill moves, well-rounded card. Little lacking on the physical and stamina, but he'll be good. We get this four-star right, four -star, four -star right back there as well. A nice right back with a lot of pace. Uh, De Rune there, not too helpful. Some nice players there, some contracts. Kemp's, all the fitness cards and stuff I'll sell on eventually. This, this, uh, this and this we will discard. Um, 370 coins in. Uh, the Arsenal kit, I do believe that this is quite an expensive kit. Maybe not, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll store it in the club for now. I might wear it. But there, there's our first mega pack, guys. Some usable players, some unusable players. Uh, most notable players here for us are going to be Bojan there uh, with quite a nice card and with um, Carcela Gonzalez and Kappa as well, actually. So three decent players for us there. Unfortunately, no chem styles. It would have been nice to get a chem style or two. Hopefully in this next mega pack, 
we can pick up some chem stars. So we'll start with this one as well now. No walkout again. Can we get a big flare? Big flare. Let's be a good player. Come on. It's gonna. Oh my god. Let's go. That is a huge pull. Obviously useless for this weekend league. But that is a huge pull for the series. That is a centre-back that I have used for hundreds, nearly thousands of games on my main account. I would never sell this card for 8,000 coins that you could buy him. For this pack-only account, he is huge. Not only him, though, but we also get Moreno, an incredible left-back to be used as well. Love that. We get ourselves... Um, let's store all of these into the club. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. We'll store into the club. We get two more usable players for us here now again. Mina, uh, maybe not that usable actually, he hasn't got great stats, but this guy here, Guerrero, this is a nice card. Physical's quite lacking, but as a substitute, he could be quite useful for us. Uh, we get another couple of fitness cards, some healing cards, some position modifiers, and again, no chem styles. That's quite disappointing. Uh, a couple of duplicate players that we'll be able to sell on. That Valencia kit's quite nice, actually. I tell you what, let's change, let's change badge and kit. Let's make the Atletico badge our badge for this weekend league, um, in line with the Spanish uh, stuff. We've got Granada. I can't have two black kits. I'm going to keep that Granada kit. I like it. I do like it. So that was nice, guys. And then we'll open our 50k pack. Come on, EA. Bless us. No walkout. Give us a special card. That's a really good card to get. I'm not going to lie. That Again, it's no huge flair or anything. No inform or anything like that. But Aurier is a solid, solid pull. Oh, Vasquez. That's an upgraded Vasquez as well. That's a nice card. He is nice. Who else have we got here that's going to be helpful to us? Upgraded Simpson, not very helpful. It is literally only Vasquez out of this 50k pack. Nastasic, not bad as well, actually. So a couple players there that could be useful for us. That Rabio card might be useful in the future, especially to get that strong link with uh, Aurier. Um, Neto's not bad. The rest of these dudes not overly helpful at all, but we'll be able to use them in SBCs and such going forwards. That isn't bad again. Guys, I mean, we've, we've put together some sick players here. And now I'm going to open four, potentially four, probably only three 15k packs as well. And see if we can get anything good out of these to just really help the club. No big flares to start with, but two uh, untradeables. Two, sorry, two rare golds. We get Villar there. I believe that's a second Spanish league card. And so not useful to us for this episode. Yeah, it's Liga 1, 2, 3. Uh, we get Bunda. We get Blasikowski, not too bad. Um, Wayne Routledge, who again will be useful. I, I kind of just want chem styles here. Fitness card, training cards will be useful. There we go, an anchor chem style. That's going to be useful. We'll throw that straight onto Chris Smalling um, for next, for after this weekend league, basically. We'll open another Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. What are we going to get in this one? No walkout again, no rare card. One rare card, sorry. It's going to be a silver as well. That's, that's heartbreaking. This is why, for me, the 5k packs are better, guys, because we've got way more uh, cards and more useful things as well. Um, you know, it would have been a lot better. A couple of fitness cards there, position modifiers that we'll, uh, we'll sell on. I'll keep that MLS manager card for this weekend, This um, the MLS stuff that's coming up next week after this weekend league. We'll check out this dude here, Zamora. Uh, we'll compare his price. 700 coins. I'll take 700 coins for him right now in time. We'll discard the rest of that as well. And that's going to leave us getting uh, one of these 15k packs. Come on, give us something good. Give us something big, huge, nothing. Two rare players, though, which is nice. It's going to be uh, Medell of Inter. Not a bad pull. Just, again, not useful for this weekend league. The same as Torres. The same as Negredo. Uh, the same as all of these, actually. None of these cards are going to be useful at all for us for this current weekend league. The contracts and fitness cards may may prove pretty helpful. I'll probably sell most of them. A thousand coins there in the pack as well, which is quite nice. And the Bayern third kit. Now, we will put the Bayern third kit on as our second kit. Um, just because now we'll have one La Liga kit, one Bundesliga kit in a weekend league that requires La Liga and Bundesliga teams. Very nice. And we will discard the ball. We don't need that. So I've got 10,000 coins left. I'll go for two 5k packs, I think, instead of a 7.5k pack. I don't mind what we get. It doesn't really matter to me. This is about just filling out the club. Hopefully some chem styles come in these packs. Uh, we get a Liga Santander player, which is quite nice. A French league got, I don't think he's much, uh, very expensive. We get a Maestro card, which is uh, relatively decent. None of those kits are too nice that they'll be worth anything. Let's see if this dude has any value to him. Uh, looks like we might get about 700 coins for him as well. We'll list him up for 700. If he doesn't sell first time, I'll, I'll go and discard. I'll go and like l lower his value. And then last but not least, guys, one more gold pack. 
for the cause and then we'll go and build our team. No rare player again, that's unfortunate, but can we get one of the good, uh, no we can't, ooh, two Belgians. Maybe we got some use here. 1.9, so we get 1.4 or 1.5k for this guy. That's not bad, that's a, that's a nice amount of coins back. This dude here, 1.8, uh, 1.3 there, we'll list him out for 1,000 coins, so that's not too bad. We get Monone, now isn't Monone actually expensive because of the SBC? 5k, 1, uh, 1k, okay, so he's not that expensive. Uh, we'll list him up for 850. I'll keep the rest of the stuff, I'll keep the Man City badge as well, it's quite a nice badge. Uh, we'll get rid of the other items. And now let's go, guys, and build our team. Like I said, this is going to be a super long episode, so if, you, if you're not a big fan of the long episodes, I apologise. Um, we're going to go and build ourselves a brand new squad. Um, I'm so happy with that Chris Smalling. It's such a shame that we're, we're using La Liga or Bundesliga uh, this weekend league because they, they don't really help me at all. Um, so we'll start with uh, Bundesla, we'll call it Bundesla. But Bundeslal, there you go. That's 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 the name of our team, the Bundeslal. Um, big big team name, really. Uh, so I want to start off by looking at what La Liga players we've got available to us. What are the best ones that we've got? Because we've got some good good ones like James Rodriguez, Savic, Vasquez, Demarcos, Pato. Wow, we've actually got we've got some good stuff here. Bruno's a bit slow, but we could have a really really good makings of a squad here. Um, let me go to. One, two, three, and then low to high, and go and get ourselves this uh, Felipe Luis here. So I wouldn't mind, uh, because I don't have position modifiers, I don't mind starting with um, the 4 4 2 and changing formation afterwards. We have got almost a full rare gold team. Savage in there. We'll put Demarcos here. Which one? Who's taller out of these two? 5 11 high, medium. 5'8 high medium. I definitely, I'll, I'll play Demarcos as a centre back, no problem. Um, once, uh, if, if, if it's proving problems, we can put Bruno in as a centre back, uh, no problem at all. Obviously, James Rodriguez is going to run out of uh, contracts eventually, so that's going to be problematic for us as well. For the time being, we've got, I'm, I'm tempted to use this Andone card. 3 star, 3 star, 6 foot high, high. 5'9 high medium, 4 star, 3 star. Mm. This guy's got more pace, more physical, defending and passing a little bit irrelevant, but about the same. A little less shooting and a little less dribbling. I'll use Alcacer. I'll use Alcacer. Why not? We'll throw him in there. And then as a centre mid, we need another one. Sergio Roberto or Trigueros. Trigueros now has an upgraded card as well, interestingly. And Trigueros, he's actually got a really good card. That Diaz card as well is pretty good. Medium, medium. I'll use him. I think that Diaz card... Because he's Celta Vigo is, and even Giudetti might be as well. All of these Celta Vigo dudes, they could be quite useful to me for selling, uh, not for keeping. Just because uh, of, especially the 80 rated because he fits the rating. So this Diaz card might have some value. No, nothing really. Okay, um, so that is our, our first team. That is our, um, our La Liga team. Now we need to get a second team because I, I don't want to use fitness cards where possible. I'd rather use a full Bundesliga team. Um, I'm happy with that as a team. That's solid. It's, it's definitely the best team that we've had so far. You know, we've got Vasquez out there on the right-hand side. Solid card. Uh, we've got this um, Carthela Gonzalez there on the left-hand side. Four-star skill, solid card. We are going to need some subs. But we'll go for Bundesliga. Uh, Bundesliga. So we need a... Not chemistry, so we need a goalkeeper to start with. Do we have a goalkeeper Bundesliga? Yes, we have Bauman as an untradeable. Perfect, I'll take him. We need a right back from the Bundesliga. Verheig, not bad, not ideal for me. Uh, we need two centre backs from the Bundesliga. Nastasic, oh wow, this Reese card as well is pretty. Not the best in defending, decent physical and good pace. And Nastasic as well, that's perfect. So we need a left back from the Bundesliga. We've got choices here. I'll go with. Uh, Kolasinac, medium high, six foot, eighty five physical, eighty. He might be a better centre back, you know. Well, I'll take both of these for the time being. Um, we need. Let's have a look at the CDMs that we've got. Bender is a great shout. We could just put him in central midfield. Boom! I'll take him. Right midfields. Reese is going to be the car. Blaszczykowski can stay out. A centre midfield, not interested. Hoger, we've played a lot of games with Hoger, he's been good. 
Um, but I'll see what I've got for... I think I've got Bojan as a cam that we can put in centre midfield. We're going to play Royce for the first five games as well. In at cam, we'll take that Bojan card because he'll go into our team as well. Um, and then we just need uh, two strikers. Uh, do I have a... See, my strikers are letting me down. I don't have a right wing. I don't believe I have a left wing either. That's a shame. I'm going to have to use one of these utter, utter garbs. It's going to have to be Fing Bogerson. He's going to be our dude. So that, this is going to be our second team here, dude, on the, be on the bench, guys. Bauman, Verheig, Rhys, Nastasic, Kolasinac, or Baba. Um, see, Kolasinac has better everything except defending. So although it'll only be on seven chemistry, I think he'll just be... A, I actually think other than defending, he'll be head and shoulders better than this dude. Medium high, six foot. And Rhys is... Medium, medium six foot. So he's even got better work rate. So I'm going to play Kalasinac at centre back and Baba at left back. And that leaves me one spot then for a super... Mm, I don't have super subs because I don't have players available to me. But um, that'll be the defence there anyway, guys. Uh, we'll have Bender and Bojan as our two centre midfielders. Royce for the first five games as a left mid. Then we'll change him for whoever we've got available. Risa will be our right mid. And then Werner the Burner and Fim Bogerson will be our um, our strikers. And I'll basically just rotate between the two teams. Uh, that is how we'll do it. Then we'll take a look. Let's now go for anyone that we have as a good sub. Who will be a good sub? Uh, let's go high to low instead of low to high and see what we've got available. See, there's, there's nothing decent available from the Bundesliga. That's unfortunate. So from La Liga... What have we got available? Bruno, not really worth anything. We don't even, we don't have anything really as a strong substitute. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So I'll just I'll have I'll use the subs available to me off the bench, uh, which will probably be Bojan and Werner the Burner coming on um, as subs for this team, and then Pato and uh, this uh, Carcelo Gonzalez as subs coming on for the second team. And then I'll just use fitness cards on those dudes where needed. You know, I've saved so many fitness cards anyway. I've got, so, I've actually got so much in terms of consumables. I'll, I'll take you through the consumables just now. Uh, as I say, this is going to be a, a super long, uh, super long episode. Um, when we go to consumables, um, training cards I'll start using throughout this weekend league as well. You know, just stuff that we picked up from the bronze pack method and stuff. Nothing, nothing huge there. We've got a couple of position modifiers, um, which I could, uh, maybe I could, we've got right mid, right mid to right wing and right wing to right forward and left mid, I could actually go for a 4 3 2 one in the Bundesliga team. That might be more beneficial to us because I have a garbage striker alongside Werner the Burner. So I might, I might change that. I'll have a look at that afterwards. A lot of chem styles in the team now. That, um, that anchor is going to be saved for um, Smalling and... I'm saving the rest for now. We'll see how it goes. Manager league, not really that relevant. Contracts, we've got a lot a lot of sellable. I'll sell a lot of these contracts over this weekend. Fitness cards again. Eight, eight squad fitness, nine squad fitness altogether. And then a whole bunch of uh, individual fitness that will last us a couple of weekend leagues if we use them. Healing cards again. I'll sell what's sell, uh, sellable and I'll keep what's uh, not sellable. And then that's our consumables to sell. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.